Hi there, I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller. I've got your Science for Everyone segment, and today's question focuses on microwaves. We're going to look at microwaves, how they help to cook our food using a microwave oven, and we're even going to get into the nuance and the science of why there are holes in this screen on the door to let visible light out and so you can see your food cooking and keeping the microwaves in. All of this is what we're going to be looking at here as we're exploring the idea of how microwave ovens work. Before we get to microwave ovens, let's talk about microwaves first. It's a form of light, a form of electromagnetic radiation. It is a wavelength of light that is between radio waves and between infrared waves. And these are forms of light. And there are different types of microwaves that are used in many different ways. We use it for weather radar so we can tell you if a storm is approaching. They are used in radar guns to check the speed of your car or the speed of a ball, perhaps at a baseball field. They're even used for remote controls and to get your garage door open, lots of different types of microwaves. But one of the other ways we can use microwaves in a special type is to help cook our food. In 1945, there was a scientist and engineer doing some work with microwaves and happened to notice that a chocolate bar in his pocket, when he got close to the device generating the microwaves, melted the chocolate. So he had an idea. I bet we can use microwaves to cook food. And right there, a microwave oven was invented. Here's how it works. In a microwave, you've got a device that's called a magnetron. And that helps to use electricity and magnetism, and it generates microwaves that are funneled into the interior of your microwave. And food, all types, has different amounts of water, H2O, in the food. And as the microwaves interact with the water that is in the food, it excites the water molecules. It gets them to try and line up. And as they try and line up, they bump into each other, generate friction, that generates heat. And it's the movement of those water molecules that helps to heat the food that you're trying to cook in your microwave. Now, the microwaves can only get so deep into your food. So what ends up happening is the outer layers warm up, and then ultimately the outer layers help to warm the inside. So it doesn't generate heat from the inside and go out. It's the opposite. Now, the microwaves actually need to be spun and make sure they hit and evenly cook your food. So you have to put your food sometimes on a turntable to get those microwaves to cover your food in an even fashion. Now, last but not least, a couple of things to consider. Microwaves, when they interact with certain types of metal, will generate an electric current that could arc and cause a fire to happen. You'll never want to use foil inside that microwave as it will concentrate and possibly cause a fire or certain types of utensils. And only microwave safe plastics should be used. If they're not microwave safe, there's a chance the microwaves could break that plastic down. The particles and the chemicals could get into your food and that could cause some issues for you down the line. That's a look at microwaves and how microwave ovens work. I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller.